traders, it's uh, Anthony here. We're looking at the euro dollar. The thing with this is, I mean, I did a video on this yesterday and uh, I was talking about we, we get this kind of a move. Right? We got the move, but this pullback was pretty brutal and I think it wiped out most retail traders. I'm considering another short opportunity here. A stop loss would be, uh, I'd go above this high, just give it a little bit of breathing room, keep it a small position open but you don't want to be selling down at this level now we're approaching the london open it's trading down into the london open i'm expecting this to to pull back up through the asia close into the new york open and we might get you know something like that uh, coming into the new york open so that's, that's what i'm looking for at the moment i'm just going to plan my trade i'll set up limit orders uh, short so we've got this distribution level here and we have levels in between so i would pick up say this through here as a point of interest for a start and we want to go down and pick up any uh, price gap so we'll just call that a four hour key uh, level uh, resistance level so 4h and then i'm going to go down to the lower time frame now and work out an entry so we'll just go down to a a 15 minute time frame now we need to keep an eye out for these session times so we've got london open we've got the asia close and then we've got the new york open so we'll just mark these up on our chart all right london open we have that kicks off at three new york time 3 a.m and then we've got the asia close so see how this is trading down into the london open just just watch how this behaves around here i'm expecting this to rotate and travel back up we've got the uh, asia close and then and th this period between just sh an hour short of the london open through to the asia close is a key area this will generally in in most in a lot of cases not not in all cases but in a lot of cases, this will either set up the high or the low of the day, 5 p.m., uh, 5 a.m., and then we've got the New York Open, New York Session Open, and that is at 8. Right, so these are our key times. Watching how this is trading now down into London. Right, what we have here, we've got these two four-hour distribution levels. We've also got... All right, have a look at this thin candle here that we've got this bearish imbalance. That's a key area for me for an entry. So we'll just mark that up. Uh, 4H imbalance there, price gap. And we've got this balance area. See this four hour distribution up here. So consider it a target for the retrace possibly and potential entry. So I'm looking for this imbalance to, to resolve, to fill, heading back up into this, this, uh, this area here. And I would say my uh, ideal entry is going to be going to be something like, well, look, you know, you, you can layer in, you can layer in your entry. So I would start layering in probably around halfway through this, this 4H here. That's a little early, but, you know, you never know. I mean, we could get, an, uh, get a um, shallow pullback and then my stop loss going to be fairly generous with it. That's very generous. Go for broke with the profit, um, with the uh, risk reward. And I'm going to be looking to layer in from this point on. So that's going to be a, a limit entry at the moment. Uh, by the way, guys, if you haven't already, uh, so limit, uh, click the links below. Have a look at my website. Just looking at this range, uh, probably go at the base of this four hour order block under here, bearish. So something like that, that'd be another sell limit there. You know, I mean, look, this is if I'm not in front of the charts this is more of a set and forget it's a higher risk and i'll probably go just slightly under midway through this four hour this is a higher risk setup given that it's potentially set and forget that would be my setup for this stop loss up here that's pretty wide i mean yeah just give it a bit of room i mean it could spike up through here it could take out the stop we never know but i'm generally trading around these four hour levels I'm building accounts with this strategy. I'm always looking for the four hour uh, accumulation distribution zones and I'll trade around those levels. Occasionally get taken out, the nature of the beast. Sometimes uh, price is going to be looking for the daily levels. For targets, well, we could look for, I mean, if, if that's an entry, this is going to be my entry zone. So consider that a sell zone. So that's my sell zone. Targets, just going to look left. If these up here fill, that will be target one. I'll call that T1. I tend to take most of my position off at T1. T2, it's just a matter of looking left. See here, back here, all right? So we've got this little range through here. 
All right, T1 works. Have a look for T2, okay? Go to the top of this range here. So there's T2. That's an easy way to work out targets is just look left and, and, and work off these uh, balance areas here. Look, see, there's another range here, these lows, All right? So you could hit that for T3, target three, go for broke. I mean, the thing with this and see what we've got under here, then we've got these highs, there's the fourth target. Um, you know, if it picks up momentum, and we gain a bit of distance with it, you know, we can we can trail it with the stop loss then and stay in this while it's within, the, you know, stay, it's while it's uh, trending. Once it, uh, we get a break of market structure with the trend reversing, say on the 4H, if you want to do it that way, you know, then we exit. But, you know, we can, we can follow this down with our stop loss all the way and just keep going and as far as this trend decides to continue. So I think, look, that that's it. That's my, my plan of attack for the euro dollar comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Join, click the links below, have a look at my website. With that, hope you have a fabulous day and <laughs> safe trading and we'll see you in the next one.